Okay guys, so on the back, like I said, you do see a web address. So that, you have to just put it up here in your web browser. And it's a series of numbers and dots, okay? So it's pretty short usually. Um, and from there, you just have to put the username and password that is provided right there on the back. So just put that in. Now, if the number doesn't work right away, so 192, 168, or something like that, whatever number you guys have, um, don't worry about it. Just go into another web browser. So if you have Mac or PC, whichever you guys have, uh, just go into Safari or Google Chrome or or something, okay? Firefox works well as well. Um, and from there, you guys can customize a lot of things. So what we need to do is set up our wireless. Although it's kind of already set up and we have a password already, which is also on the back of your modem right there, um, it's better to put in your own password, your own name as well, so you know uh, it's not just Rogers and then a bunch of numbers. It's better for you guys to set it up so it, maybe it's your name or something like that. Something easy that you guys will find on your wireless. You can even make it a hidden network, which is something that I'm going to do for in this instance. Okay, so to customize your settings, um, to change your name from your wireless, just go up here where it says wireless. Then down here below, you guys will see your name. Okay, so there's your 2.4G and your 5G. So let's name each one. So you guys can name it anything that you want. I suggest putting something, something you guys will remember. It's easy for you guys to remember. So I'm putting this as that. And then from, from my 5G, I'm just going to put another name. Okay, so you guys have to have two different names. And as you know, some of your devices can be, well, most of your devices will be able to connect to 5G and some older devices just into 2.4. So a lot of um, printers out there, only 2.4. And a lot of other stuff, such as iPhones, you will be able to connect to your 5G network. On setting that, you guys could just save changes at this moment. However, we want to put more stuff right now and customize more things. So our next step is just to go over. So we were in basic settings. Now we want the security part of it, okay? From here, we're gonna set up our passwords and um, anything that you guys want to customize is from here. So our password right now, it's uh, one from Rogers that you can change up or you can leave it without a password. I strongly, strongly recommend putting a password. However, I'm gonna make it a hidden network myself. At this point, you guys can just type in any password that you want. You have to type in a password and then just put save changes. From that point, you guys can exit and you're all done for the setup. Uh, if you guys wanna keep watching, all I'm gonna do is make this a hidden network, okay? And I'm not gonna set up a password, but I'm gonna set up later on. So in order, if you guys want to make a hidden network, all you guys have to do is go back to basic settings and you guys will see broadcast and then just turn that off. Okay. Um, and that's exactly what we want at this point. It is not for everybody. Okay. Like I said, if you guys were done, you guys were done. You guys can set up your own password. You set up your own name. You're good to go. However, if you want to make this a hidden network, these are the steps to do it. Um, my 5G, I also want that hidden. So here's the thing when you make a hidden network. Um, you can have a password for it or you can just have it open. So I suggest having a password. Okay, so it's a double protection. So people, when they scan for your Wi-Fi network, they will not see it in their list. Neither will you. You will have to add it manually to whatever devices you guys want to connect. Okay, so if you want your Mac to connect to your... Uh, Wi-Fi network, you will have to know what the name is. So remember the name of your network and that way you guys can connect up. And uh, well, you guys can have it, you guys can have a password or have it open, whatever you guys want. Uh, but I highly suggest again, putting on a password and that's it. That's it for your everything. Um, your internet should be working right now. Everything should be ready to go. Um, you can also just call in um, Rogers and tell them to set up for you. Sure, why not? And they're gonna do exactly what I did right now. However, I do suggest you doing it yourself. You getting to know your modem, getting to know your your internet, and how to customize basic basic things. Also, um, changing the password to get into this thing, I wouldn't suggest changing up just because you want Rogers to have that accessibility in order to change anything if they. You know, if you have problems troubleshooting something, you guys do want Rogers to have access. <coughs> Changing the name of your Wi-Fi network, setting up as a hidden network, 
or doing all those changes, that doesn't really matter. Rogers does not mind that, and that's because they're just basic things. You're just changing the name, changing the password. doesn't affect them if uh, they want to troubleshoot anything with you. Uh, what would affect them if you guys go further and change more stuff from within here, which don't do it, okay? Um, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Thank you.